What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have a pretty special video and that's because as you can see here, I have a pretty big tank and this is, as you pr probably could tell by the uh, title of the video, the uh, Hang Long 116th scale RC uh, King Tiger, German King Tiger from World War II. Uh, now this thing is, is uh, I gotta tell you, it's pretty cool. Has a lot of different features, a lot of functions, drives really well. Uh, so, another reason why this is not going to be an unboxing video is because I was just too anxious to get it open, so I just decided to open it and uh, test it out myself and not make a video about it. But then later I realized, you know what, since I'm kind of moving into this type of a hobby, uh, why not kind of document it? Uh, so yeah, that's why I'm making this video today. Now one uh, quick announcement that I will make is some of you have been noticing, or to my subscribers, that uh, I have pretty much mostly been focusing on these RC tanks uh, and I kind of went away from my 1.6 scale hobby. Why is that? Because I have decided to uh, leave my 1.6 scale hobby and uh, start a new hobby which is the 1.16th scale RC hobby. Uh, now the 1.6 uh, hobby, as you probably saw my other films that I made with World War II action figures, it was cool and all, but you know, I just decided to sell my ho my uh, collection and move on to something else and start fresh. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this tank. Now in this video, you're gonna see uh, its functions, how it works, uh, and we're gonna test it in the indoor track. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you can see, it's pretty hard to get this tank uh, in the uh, camera. Because uh, look how look how uh, big it is compared to the Hang Long M uh, M41 A or sorry M4 A3 uh, Sherman tank. Yes, yes, I can't keep on forgetting. It is pretty big. Um, yeah, pretty uh, pretty uh, crazy looking tank right there. Now, as you can see here, I've already added all of the accessories that come on the tank. Uh, all the way around, I kind of added all the details. Uh, same thing on this side. And I've also added the decals on the tank. So, yeah, looking pretty cool. And then there's the front. I believe this is an 88 millimeter gun. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, a lot of them were, not too many were produced during World War II. Uh, this is the Porsche turret version. There's a Henschel and a Porsche turret version. Uh, the Porsche company did not really make them. I think they either designed them. I was, I'm not too sure about it, but uh, I do know that I have the Porsche version turret. Now this isn't the new six, uh, TK6 uh, series, which hang long tanks, they have, um, for instance, this uh, M4 Sherman has a diff uh, four different sound effects, uh, to where this actually has just two. Uh, so this is the older version compared to the Sherman, which is the newer updated version. Uh, but it still runs well and it still has, uh, you know, it still just works pretty well. Uh, there's not really any other issues with that. I did have some issues in the beginning with uh, the tracks making like loud uh, clacking noises or whatever, or clicking noises. Uh, but what I did is I took a, a one piece of track out and kind of tightened it. So I guess you could say tensioned uh, the track tension. Uh, I did the track tension process and uh, it works great now. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn this tank on. And uh, But first, before we do that, let me show you what came with the tank. So we have a pretty standard hang long uh, remote uh, looking pretty cool. Uh, there's all the other... Um, features on here so you have a volume control button how loud and how uh, uh, quiet you want the tank to be your smoke feature and where you can change the uh, sound you just press these two buttons and it changes back and forth between the sound this is the starting button right here uh, and then right here is the machine gun and you hold this down and lift this up to fire the gun this is the airsoft version by the way uh, there's inf infrared and airsoft versions on the tanks so uh, but this one didn't come with infrared so let's go ahead and uh, also see what else. We got the accessory box. Um, in here right now, I just got the uh, figure that goes with the tank right here. Let me see if it'll focus, let the camera focus on it. Oh, there we go. So it's unpainted, so you, you kind of have to paint it if you want it to look uh, much more realistic. 
Uh, and then you have the oil bottle that comes with the tank, so you can uh, fill up the oil. Uh, there's a for the smoke feature. There's a little pump in the back, and this oil kind of helps it so more smoke can uh, come out. Uh, and then over here we have uh, spare track pieces as well. So uh, not much, but uh, pretty cool stuff that come with the tank. I'll tell you that. Uh, I paid around. Let's see here. But yeah, price wise. Sorry for the voice crack. <laughs> Price-wise, I paid around uh, $118 for the tank. This is the fully plastic version. Uh, you can also upgrade these tanks. You can get metal tracks, metal wheels, uh, metal spro sprocket wheels, idler wheels. wheels. Uh, you can do whatever upgrades you want to it. Uh, metal uh, gearbox uh, with gears inside, metal ones. So far, this is the full plastic version. So, And then here is the charger that comes with the tank. So it's a USB. Uh, charger which is pretty nice because you can plug it in in your car or something uh, on the go so uh, if you didn't charge your tank it's not a big issue because you can uh, charge it right up in the car if you're going to an event or something so I find that pretty neat and pretty useful so uh, let's go ahead and turn on the remote and also turn on the tank uh, with the tank you have to turn it on uh, right over here oh. by pressing that and the battery is back uh, under here as you can see Okay, let's go ahead and start it up. As you can see, the uh, front headlight, however you want to call that, is already uh, on. So let's go ahead and uh, start it up. There's the sound effect. Pretty neat. So now it's operational. Let's go ahead and uh, test out its uh, functions. So this is the turret. Left, or sorry, right. Left. And then up and down. So you do have gun elevation, which is pretty neat. And then let's go ahead and move the tank. Forward, backward, left, right. So the tank is uh, proportional, which is pretty neat. So you can control if you want it to go slow like this, kind of creep along here, or if you want it to go fast, whichever, whichever way you want it to work. And then here is the machine gun, by pressing this, and you can see the light right there. And then let's go ahead and uh, fire the gun. Okay, let's hold this down. Just like that, and has a really cool recoil system too. And let's test out the smoke feature. It takes a couple of uh, seconds for the smoke to start working, so uh, I'll get back to you whenever the smoke is working. There we go. Hope you can see that. Yeah. So pretty cool feature right there as well. Also that I forgot to uh, mention is that this thing has independent suspension on each road wheel as you can see here and that is really neat. That's one thing that I like about these Hang Long uh, brand tanks. Uh, they have the realistic looks, they're historically correct and they even have its own suspension. They have all the other functions and features. I, I just love these tanks because of that. Uh, and so let's go ahead and uh, take this thing to the indoor test track. All right, so let's go ahead and start. Some pretty tricky obstacles right here. Here's a better view of the suspension in action. So this uh, King Tiger does take uh, six millimeter uh, airsoft BBs. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, load it up. We're gonna go ahead and put two of them uh, so that we can take two shots at the uh, target. So on three, one. Oh, actually, let's actually go ahead and uh, aim at a target. 
And this barrel is pretty long, so I wouldn't recommend traveling with this tank because uh, it could easily get broken. So, all right, let's fire in three, two. Ooh, look at that. Okay, let's aim at another target. Let's aim at this tank right here. Ooh, just like that. Pretty cool. Has a pretty powerful uh, airsoft uh, gun in there, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's be careful not to crash into this fence as we're sliding down. Ooh. So this is where the uh, long barrel thing uh, comes, where it becomes an issue. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's try and uh, move it like this while we're turning here. <laughs> okay, that's one way to do it. Okay, so the final test on this tank is uh, going over this obstacle right here. So let's go ahead and bring the uh, gun back around. And uh, let's go ahead and see if we can climb it without uh, any issues. Oh, there we go. So let's go ahead and try it one more time. Looks like we got a rock obstacle right here. this way. Just like that. So as you saw there, uh, the King Tiger performed pretty well uh, and I didn't really have any issues with it. Uh, so I think that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, comment down below what other tanks do you think I should uh, buy and get in the uh, near future uh, to do reviews and tests on. Uh, now I am planning on taking the King Tiger and the M4 Sherman out on some off-road runs, uh, but for now we're going to be indoors. And uh, yeah, so pretty cool tank. Out of a 10, I definitely rate this thing a 8 or 9. Uh, and yeah, so I definitely recommend it. Uh, so talking about price-wise, this was 100 and I said 18 or 19, I forgot. Um, and it's not bad. For what you get, you know, there's a lot of functions, a lot of features. It's pretty big. But I do not recommend this if you want to buy it for your kid. Uh, because it comes with many little uh, accessories and stuff that can easily get broken off. And um, it's kind of a fragile tank. I mean, it's built durable. It's meant to, you know, be a good off-road tank. And it's also meant to be a good uh, shelf queen. <laughs> and, uh, you know, to give it to a kid who is probably going to, you know, uh, destroy it. Like, look, you got the machine gun on here. It's probably going to rip that off. All these things, you know. It's just going to be a sad tank in the end, you know, because it's just going to look, you know, just beat up. And, and yeah, it's a tank. It's supposed to look beat up and, you know, like it was in a war zone or something. But still, uh, for the price you're paying, uh, $118, you really don't want to, you know, give it to your kid for, for he or she to mess it up. Because that's a lot of money and uh, to have it, you know, destroyed is just, you know... <laughs> Uh, so I hope you know, uh, I hope you under understand what I'm trying to say here, um, but for a collector, it's a perfect tank, um, you know, it's a perfect shelf, uh, it's a perfect uh, piece to display on your shelf, and it's also a perfect thing to uh, have fun with around the house, or outside, or in the backyard, wherever you want to uh, have fun with it, uh, and yeah, so see you guys later, peace.